I have a uh, simple question, and I don't know if it's valid. I haven't thought about it a lot. I've been drinking and just kind of came across it. But I was thinking this. Uh, why is it so important that you uh, believe while you're alive? Why can't you just die, um, you know, face Peter with his notebook or whatever and uh, say, oh, sorry, I fucked up. I should have believed. I didn't. Judge me on what I did in life because I'm sorry the evidence didn't support the conclusions put forth in an absurd book full of all kinds of logical fallacies, full of bullshit that, you know, I just, I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe that a man spent three days in the belly of a fish. And yeah, yeah, you Christian theologians, you always uh, tend to uh, <clears throat> talk about the Hebrew of the text. But in Hebrew, Jonah spent his time in the belly of a fish. A fish. Okay, yeah, they meant a whale, but they didn't, you know. I mean, it was actually the Hebrew word for fish. So. Anyways, you couldn't believe all that. So, you know, you were an atheist. You lived a pretty good life. I mean, you might have committed a, a sin. I, I, I hate that word because then that implies that you know God's will. And I don't think that a theist can really pretend to know God's will when upon close examination of the text they have to admit that you know they cannot I mean they cannot know every possible transmutation every possible um, interpretation of all the analogies admitted analogies made in the Bible so basically what I'm saying is well, why why do you have to convert in life? Why can't you convert in death, in the afterlife? If you are an atheist and you turn out to be wrong, why is it so important that you do all this shit in life? Why can't this supposed soul that we have, which I personally don't subscribe to because there's absolutely no evidence for such a thing as a soul, but, I mean... Yeah, yeah. That's that's my whole question. Please enlighten me. Tell me why um, life has to be a test. Why all decisions have to make, be made in the here and now. Why one can't be redeemed in the afterlife. Why why you're basically just a used up thing that needs to be tortured once you die. Even though supposedly without all your synapses and um, brain cells and all that why you're no good anymore you're just something to be punished I, I, explain that because it's really a hard concept for me to uh, to understand at all